Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster here back on this uh, Wednesday, right? Wednesday, March 8th, 2023. It's about 1239 p.m. here along the West Coast in California. And we're taking a look at the last 24 hours of earthquake activity and definitely being uh, seeing things ramping up here globally uh, and more specifically across areas of the North American plate up here and also areas around the western edge of the Philippine plate. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here from the USGS map here on a flat scale model. Uh, of course, last night and uh, yesterday, we're seeing a noticeable uptick here across the northern end of the Pacific Plate and the coast range over here on the eastern section of the Pacific Plate. Uh, that has definitely kicked up a little bit here off the coast of the BC region, off the coast of Queen Charlotte Sound, 4.3 coming in about 2 o'clock this morning. Uh, that is out uh, just west of the Cascadia Subduction Zone, which sits up here uh, and down south, of course, in the Northern California. This earthquake occurring within the uh, Explorer Plate here. It's a little micro plate, but known as the Juan de Fuca Plate as a whole. Uh, a little bit of further activity down south here. Uh, again, just west of the Cascadia Subduction Zone, but on the Gorda Plate here, uh, into the Gorda Ridges, we did see some activity kicking up here yesterday. Uh, a couple threes kicking off earlier this a or yesterday afternoon. Still regional activity though on the uptick out here along the west coast and the North American plate. Uh, did have a little activity here in the eastern Oregon region just after uh, looks like about one o'clock in the morning 3.1 near Richland, Oregon. Don't see too much activity out here but uh, there is some fault systems as you run through Oregon. And uh, look at the Yellowstone area. Looks pretty quiet. A little spotty movement across the Intermountain West here uh, down in the Utah and the Nevada area. Let me see what we have here for the Yellowstone overviews here real quick. And uh, are these guys working? Let's double check here and see. There we go. And doesn't look like there's a whole lot. see here I'm, I'm thinking that this earthquake showing up here earlier uh, last night is going to be uh, one of the distant earthquakes doesn't look like that's a localized earthquake there to Yellowstone and uh, not really seen too much earthquake activity here as far as local seismic activity goes in the Yellowstone area so we'll jump off that northern California some movement here along the uh, Bartlett Springs fault system here it's a coast range fault on the North American side of the plate boundary a couple twos and some ones out here. Clear Lake Volcanic Field remaining active with the uh, ongoing operations down there. Um, and most of the activity, it looks like it has been confined here to the Southern California area uh, as well. Yesterday and today, quite a, quite a few more microquakes out here uh, up and down the San Jacinto Fault Zone and a little separate swarming area off here uh, northeast of the Desert Hot Springs region with a 2.8 and a handful of some smaller microquakes just off the Eureka. It looks like the Eureka Peak uh, or the Burnt Mountain, one of these specific faults here, uh, seeing that activity. Down on the Brawley Seismic Zone, a couple small earthquakes there from yesterday. Uh, nothing showing up there right now, but uh, we'll continue to keep an eye on that area for some movement. Texas and Oklahoma, some spotty activity out there. And as we get into the Caribbean plate here across the Puerto Rico area, it looks like let me see what we got here for some smaller quakes in the area. This area looks as though they have tapered off in the earthquake movement for now. We do have a 2.9 it looks like just off the coast here of the Costa Rica area. A little bit of movement there in Puerto Rico as well. But for the most part, all the momentum and the earthquake activity appears to be up on the northern end of the Pacific Plate, parts of the west coast, and big time over here across areas of the western pacific we did see a little uptick here along the curlcom chaka trench let me bring that up uh, just after the update last night this originally came in as a 5.8 downgrade to a 5.6 into the curlcom chaka trench that was followed up uh, this morning by another earthquake a little bit shallower one 5.2 uh, so we'll continue to keep an eye on the curlcom chaka trench for some larger scale movement noticeable uptick here across the area of the eastern uh, portion of the philippine plate and the western portion as well as noted on the earthquake 3d globe here it's uh, looking pretty active in this area 4.4 just coming into the taiwan area right now 
and a swarm of clustering of earthquakes there across the Banda Sea, Maluka Sea area, and the southern end of the Java Trench. For the earthquakes being reported by the USGS, uh, we had a couple of them after midnight, actually all four of these. The largest, a 5.4, down here at the southern end of the Mariana Trench. We'll definitely watch for some further activity here upstream, considering we have seen some deeper movement quakes here just after midnight with that 4.6 in the Guam area, 113 kilometers deep. And then just after midnight, we've seen even a deeper earthquake up here into the Izu Trench. So this whole area right here should definitely be on watch upstream for some potential movement. Across areas of Solomon Islands and the Fiji area, uh, some of these from yesterday, including that 5.8 into the Papua New Guinea area, uh, just west of there, did see some further back building and some deeper movement quakes here across the area of the Tonga Trench. It actually kind of looks like it's in the uh, Kermadec area, Kermadec Trench region, 495 kilometers deep for that uh, fairly deep earthquake there. All right, New Zealand area, got 3.1 it looks like, um, let's see exactly where that's at, it looks like a uh, North Island, New Zealand, maybe. Let's see what we got here for the GeoNet servers. 4.3, actually, it was way off. <laughs> Down into the South Island area, uh, coming in. Uh, let's see when this came in here. 4.3 shows yesterday, but this this is going to be the local time frame here. But then again, maybe not. Looks like it was uh, yesterday. There's some smaller quakes throughout the New Zealand area over the last few hours, but nothing major going on. And a look at the volcanic drums here across New Zealand shows, well, not a whole lot. Uh, some smaller quakes showing up here on the graphs, but that is about it. All right, uh, let's see what else we got here for earthquake activity. Um, again, it looks like the westward momentum here is definitely kicking up across a wide area of the Pacific plate and adjacent plates uh, and with that in mind need to keep an eye on some areas that have been quiet I think the main one right now is the Kuro Kamachaka Trench yes we're seeing some activity but this area is overdue uh, for some larger scale movement it doesn't take 300 or 400 years uh, for a, enough slip rate to accumulate a large earthquake and I'm talking about above 7.0 so these little fives I don't know they might be a little sign of uh, potential uh, activity, obviously some potential activity within this region, but I will keep an eye on this area of the Kurokam Chaka Trench for movement. Uh, deeper activity along the eastern edge of the Philippine plate here, along these trenches, indicating strain and that general westward plate movement. Uh, we should keep an eye upstream here of these areas. So I, I would say this whole area around the western Pacific plate, keep a close eye on it. Java Trench, it looks like we're starting to get some smaller quakes here across the area. Maybe trying to work its way up around the bend here. But right now, just a 3.9 outside the uh, Myanmar region, it looks like. And the Turkey area seeing continued earthquake activity. Um, double check, make sure the bells are off here. Yes, they are. Okay. <laughs> Hate to get halfway through and, and the bells are going off. There is some deeper movement kicking off here. Um into the Mediterranean region is that 4.2 looks like that 277 kilometers deep in the area well it's not listed up here on the USGS map unfortunately uh, so let's see exactly where that's at looks like the Italy area some deeper movement quakes taking place there across the area uh, definitely a good sign of some rapid movement uh, could be taking place across the Mediterranean here as far as upstream activity goes. And of course, the deeper movement quakes do tend to point uh, towards larger scale activity upstream. So we'll keep an eye on that region as well. Did see one earthquake way down here in the Southwest Indian Ridge. That one coming in early this morning near the Prince Edwards Island area, 4.9. And um, Atlantic Ocean looks like, what do we got out here? 4.8, that was from yesterday. Not a whole lot of new earthquake activity here across the Atlantic. Either way, be on guard, folks, with all this wide-scale movement uh, taking place. Space weather activity. I'll give a quick jump on that here real quick. Looks like things are mellowing out, toning down slightly. We do have numerous sunspots currently in position of the Earth facing side. 
And um, it, it just kind of looks like these are all disorganized. Nothing really complex here in terms of magnetic instability. It looks fairly... I mean, it's active, obviously. Don't get me wrong, this is a lot of sunspot activity, but none of these harbor any potential for any strong flaring that I can notice uh, within this magnetic structure image here. I still think maybe this one might have a little something, uh, but that's about it. Right now, these guys are saying a 99% uh, chance for a C flare, M flare at 40, X flare at 10. I think that's a little elevated, but that's just what they're reporting here. No major solar storms headed this way, so it's going to be green across the board, meaning not a whole lot of greenery up there in the skies for the folks that uh, like to watch the aurora. So that's not going to be a, an option right now. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Got quite a busy, got quite a busy day going on. We'll catch you guys back here uh, a little bit later on this evening, uh, unless something major goes on. Let me see. Make sure we got the last 24 hours up here on the globe, which we do. And that's, oops, I just lowered it beyond that. Hold on a second. Yeah, right about here is a 24-hour map. That's still pretty active here for the last 24 hours. Northern Pacific Plate and uh, big time out here along the west. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that area. 1.7 coming into SoCal. Eventually it's going to move. Um, but right now it looks like specifically this area is... Um, just kind of very quiet right now. Most of the activity up north, west, and south here. All right, folks, have a good day. We'll catch you back here a little bit later on this evening. Till then, stay safe and uh, have a good one.